Welcome to Power and Energy channel. In this video, let me explain strides in convolutional neural network. What is strides? The number of pixel shift over the input matrix by the filter is called strides. That is, when the stride is 1, we move the filter to 1 pixel at a time on the input matrix. Let me take an example of n cross n input image is convolved with the filter f cross f produces n minus f plus 1 cross n minus f plus 1. That is, if you want to find out 1 comma 1 of your output image, just keep your filter on this box of input image. Element wise multiplication and sum of this value going to produce this 26. In case if you want to find out next element that is 20, you keep your filter on this box that is one pixel shift on right hand side. One pixel shift on right hand side produces next element that is third element. If you want to find out 2 comma 1 element, keep your filter on this box and find out 25. Similarly, next elements are calculated. But this n minus f plus 1 cross n minus f plus 1 is no longer valid if the stride value changes. Your output dimension normally calculated by n minus f by s plus 1 cross n minus f by s plus 1. Since the stride is 1, these two equations are equal. Coming to another example, what happens when the stride is 2? Let me take an example of 5 cross 5 input image is convolved with 3 cross 3 produces 2 cross 2 output image, but not 3 cross 3 as like previous example. Let me explain how. If you want to find out first element of your output image, keep your filter on this position and do element wise multiplication, sum of this value is going to be 26. Now, for a stripes 2, you just skip 2 pixels, that is move the filter on right hand side 2 pixels, that is from here. Keep the filter on this blue box and find out number 24 on your output image. Similarly, uh, 28 on your output image, keep your filter on this box, brown colored box, you can able to find out 28, that is 2 pixels down. Finally, you can calculate last element of your output image by keeping your filter on this purple box. So, if you have n cross n input image, convert with the filter f cross f, the stripes is 2 then your output image is going to be n minus f by s plus 1 cross n minus f by s plus 1 that is 2 cross 2 on this example. Let me take another example of uh, strides equal to 3 on this convolution operation. Cross 5 input image is convolved with the 3 cross 3 filter but this time strides is 3. Let me tell you how this operation takes place. Uh, the place where you have to keep your filter to find out first element of your output image. Again, since stripes is 3, you have to shift your filter 3 pixels on my right hand side. That is like this. The filter is hanging around in the input image. So, this operation cannot be performed. Similarly, if you move your filter down 3 pixels that is like this, once again your filter is hanging around. So this operation cannot be performed and so has this operation. So you will be finding the result of 1 cross 1. Let me tell you how. When the convolution window continues to slide down 3 columns to the right on the input, there is no output because the input element cannot fill the window unless we add another column of padding. 
So on this example, you are going to find out one cross one input image. Since this portion is not an integer, the dimension of output image is calculated as rounding down to the nearest integer. That is one cross one. By the addition of padding, it is possible to eliminate this problem. Let me explain how padding and strides works in convolutional operation. I will take an example of strides 3. The input image after padding P2, now 9 cross 9 dimension, which is convolved with 3 cross 3 and produces a result of 3 cross 3 output image. For the first element of your output image, fix your filter on this position. Since the strides is 3, second element of your output image is calculated by fixing filter on this position. Then third on this position. Then to find out number 10 of your output image, select this 3 cross 3. That is 3 pixels down. 3 pixels down here. You just move your filter to this position. Similarly, if you want to find out the number 5 of your output image, that is this 5, 3 comma 1, you shift your filter 3 pixels down further. That is from here to here. So this is your 3 cross 1. 3 comma 1 of your output image is calculated by keeping the filter on this position. Similarly, you can calculate the rest of the values. So, if we have an input image of n cross n, padding 2, strides 3, and the filter size is 3 cross 3, then your output image is going to be n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 cross n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1. I hope you enjoyed this video with the learning of strides in convolutional neural network. If you like this video, subscribe my channel for more updates.